Hi guys, today we will continue our alternate future of the world series. And this is part 20. And we're continuing World War 4. I forgot to save. So I had to redraw them. And I forgot about one big thing. I know this is not the exact same end, but I had to figure out what it looked like because, well, I messed it up. And so we can continue. The naval dominance would have been great to have here because multiple landings are pulled off. And they connect down in there, herjig, and they push down. Well, the Chinese Navy in Myanmar's waters doesn't end so well, because here, they're kicked out. Well, they get completely kicked out. And with this leads to one of the biggest events so far to happen in the war with this. A lot of countries are talking about the reestablishment of a democracy in China. And a bit of a partition just for what's going on. But they don't well, the Chinese Navy does have a trick up their sleeve, which is, which color is it? Yeah, and so they push down to the Philippines. And they push around Japan. Well, they push J Philippines ships away. Well, they can't take Vietnam. They learn that the hard way again. Nobody can beat Vietnam, and a landing is made in the northern Philippines. And the Philippines' capital is quickly taken. It's hard to fight when you're a bunch of islands scattered everywhere, I guess. They make a landing on that island. At the South China Sea beginning to fall. Well, this is a lot of water controlled now by them. They push down to Indonesia, Malaysia. Yeah, they get this far. But they're most likely going to just overextend. Is what the prediction is. Which is a great prediction. Because they probably will. And he knows they will. It's almost a game. Of. Where will they go? Trying to make some landing. That makes a bit of progress. In the Malaysia. With Malaysian forces starting to. Not do so well. The island of Borneo. Not doing so great. And they make a landing here. And here. And here. And they conquest this land. And they push up. And they push down here. Libya continues its push into Egypt. And in Morocco, Nigeria, and Libya continue. But they kind of are getting far. 
with European forces about to see their turning point when they push to here. Because this is when a bulk of North American forces start arriving in Europe, which is great. And their supply lines are coming from Poland, which isn't that pro, so they're coming from all the way from there, basically. But from the loyal areas, and they push down and north. Russian forces faring in circle meant try to escape. A lot do, but some don't. And then they push up here. They encircle Berlin, the Battle of Berlin restart, and they push up. And this is where the Russian Navy starts not having the funnest Hey, look, it's not the same shade, so oh, this just made it purple. Yeah. So we know they have naval dominance here. And well, and the turning point happens. The force is pushing that way. And force is pushing here. Well, I'll be back in one sec. So Israel continues its push north. And I'll be right back. Libya managed to push farther into Egypt. They managed to push north into Mauritania. Now they're... Navy is going to move north just to protect these lands. Just so the world treaty forces can't push them back. But the problem with this is a major pushback is being planned down here. And well, one more thing. Malaysia forces have just collapsed. And well, Indonesian forces collapse on the island of Borneo. But it's not that big of a deal because they're saying their navy can cut all supplies to these forces off, which is attempted. Yeah. This is a major defeat for the Chinese Navy. Well, these forces are pushed into India. India managed to be able to push them back. Yeah, and they push them back to there. And they push down along here. With their navy being prepared. Well, the navy of the Arabian Union, the North Arabian Union, they're hoping Arabia will be united under the Democratic South. But no one knows yet. But with this naval dominance starting to push up into the Persian Gulf, Well, the Iranian Navy is being destroyed. The Iranian Navy in the Persian Gulf gets fully sank. And so is the Arabian. Which is bad and good. And then the Arabian Union gets kicked out of the Herjig area of the Arabian Union. With American forces making a landing there. India's forces make landings. Well, there's another place that doesn't go so well for the red team. Turkey. And well, they continue their push into Turkey. They even cross into Azerbaijan and eventually cut off more supply the supplies going through Azerbaijan. Well now 
It's harder to get supplies to Saudi Arabia. Eight, you can't get it through water. The only way you can get it is through air. And, well, air dominance is not really in your hands at the time. So, well, Arabian Union starts collapsing. All the forces in the North Arabian Union start collapsing. You know where else front lines collapse? Not there. They just stalemate. But here, Russia's front lines in Poland collapse. And a lot of Polish forces fight alongside the European Union. Lithuanian fighters join them. And you know who else joins them? Democratic Russian forces. Their campaign here is created in here. With almost all naval dominance gone. They managed to make a counter push in the Ukraine. And they take Crimea back. <laughs> After years at Russian hands, the Black Sea fleet starts falling. And all the Chinese Navy starts collapsing in the south. And with the Navy starting to collapse. And here, Chinese forces start collapsing. And I will be right back. Well, the Philippines get landed on. And Borneo. So, now I'm going broad and have encircled, well, they have encircled St. Petersburg and they push in. St. Petersburg quickly falls. Russian forces get pushed north. Many countries they annexed have been liberated, but now Russia has some Internal problems. Big internal problems. Pro-democracy forces in the year like 2140, probably. Or, yeah, it's somewhere in the 2100s. Yeah, and there's laser weapons and water weapons. Nobody's using water weapons. And well, the forces here attract the attention of forces throughout the country who are fighting in the north. Well, well they take huge swaths of land. Seeing this, the red team is able to sink the Russian Pacific Fleet. And well, after this happens, well, the collapse of China as we know it begins with them being pushed out of here. And yeah, there, this is not going to be the last video for this World War IV, because I'm thinking maybe have a treaty in a different video and have, like, the downfall of both countries in the last video. Like, you know, the downfall of China. As if one war went on longer. Nukes are irrelevant now for this video. 
But first, falls of Chinese soil will happen in this video, but China will fall in the next video. And they push north, Koreans, to there. And they take the Shandong Peninsula with these two islands, Taiwan. Well, actually, Taiwan starts a democratic war. Yeah. And then we have the Chinese Civil War. Which the West is supporting. Oh well. It is the fall of China. With them crossing the borders. Some of the weaker countries will fall in this video. And now, for the t turning point in Africa. With the Navy being completely wiped out. And the small advance in. And yeah. On every front, they fall back. And landings are made. Yeah, landings are made. Well, yeah, they lose all of their territories outside. And then they start their advance in the core territories. Mostly the puppets, because they're weak. And don't like being under control. I will be right while I was gone. Well, a bunch of encirclements were created. And a bunch of pushes forwards into Libya and Algeria. No, Nigeria. Well, Algeria is there. And then they continue advances into these countries. And yeah, we focused on different areas just because it's such a big war. And well, someone's unhappy. Well, they continue their push towards Moscow. But the Battle of Moscow won't break be in this video, but the next one, which will be tomorrow. Democratic forces, there might be a civil war in China brewing. Yeah. Do we even need naval dominance anymore? It was all under one team's control. Pretty much pointless. Saying that because, well, we don't need it. It's kind of useless. Now the map is back to normal. Well. Well. I ran quickly falls. And their capital, Tehran, falls. And they push up into Afghanistan. Which goes to success because there's a democratic militia that fights along them. Well, the Chinese economy is very bad, especially, but the rebels aren't as bad of an economy. So people start supporting the rebels more and more in numbers. People also are supporting Russian rebels. 
a lot of people are just welcoming them right into their homes when they start to get to the Trans-Siberian Railroad. Which Japan, America, and Canada, and Mexico does not get involved. Well, Sweden and Finland and Norway comes. Greenland forces come. British forces come. A lot of Europeans because they like winter. And well, mountainous countries too send some forces. Because mountains are cold. And they meet up with... Russian rebel forces. Some people are thinking China will have huge reparations to pay at the end of this war. Well, there's no Iran left. Forces have entered Central Asia. And forces encircle Volgorod. I think it's farther east than that because it's on a river. And now, Libya falls, and the strong three are left to fight. Yeah. Well, I will finish this tomorrow with the treaty and the downfall of the three strongest nations. Well, it'll first be them. Then them. China might be a long time. There's a lot of urban fighting. But I think I might have other treaties before then where they might turn. And help those forces. Yeah. And then, well, this is just the evil Russia. We know, we know today. The same Russia. Although it did collapse and then created the same Russia. It's an aggressive Russia. Which blames everyone else for their problems. Which is false. And if that was true, I don't think they'd be trying to... Isn't it internal if you look at it? There's also internal problems here. Well, nukes are useless, and, well, they have tools to clean them up with the least casualties. Because they invented a tool now that basically, if you get nuked in that world, you know what happens? Well, you just get washed. And then we have nuclear defenses on cities, they do. And guess what? That just deflects all the radiation to the sun. And thank you for viewing this episode. We'll have a third episode tomorrow. That's just because we're at a big, like, it has to come with three videos. Because it is World War Four in this timeline. Yeah. Do, will they stop? Oh, the world population in this timeline is 11 billion. And thank you for viewing. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Why should you subscribe? Because subscribing means we get 50 subscribers quicker. And a 50 subscriber special is no laughing matter. Imagine if I did this part with, like, at the end with my face. That would be so cool. And, well, subscribing makes people realize you like it. And these videos are made for fun. So you should subscribe. Because, like, look, you can see Russia get beat up again, or we could see China get beat up, India beat up China, yep. Yeah. India formed the Indian subcontinent, Europe trying to expand, but you know, Hungary won't join because Hungary is an empire and doesn't want to lose its empire again like it did a hundred years ago. And the puppets are planning to expand, but they're not going to get to. The Romanian puppet says they want these lands, but no, they're not getting it because there's going to be a big Ukraine made. No, there isn't. Not that big. Nigeria is going to lose a lot of territories and go back to its old self. And then South Africa is happy because he doesn't lose any land. See the benefits? And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Wild Mapper out.